They're both They're speaking, both but no one's listening. listening. But I, but I think it's just gonna end up hurting a lot of people in the end. I wish I was like, like shaking. shaking. Like my personality, my personality kind of just always, always wants to be the one who's um, leading. leading. Hey all, this is Zach, Zach and Jack Productions. Uh, and here's gonna be a little bit of a different video. I've been working on this one for a long time. It's a documentary about a server that I am a part of, a Discord server called Jellyfish Inc. Planet. It's a server created by some of my close friends uh, at my school, made for the express purpose of playing video games with each other and other... No, that's about it, just playing video games. And, you know, we play different games, mostly Minecraft, um, always Minecraft. And, you know, we all get along. It's not always calm. It's never calm. But, you know, we all get along because we're friends, you know, and we all play the same games. But back in April, a bit of a conflict happened, and I was itching to make a documentary. So I went and filmed it, thinking it was going to be easy. Heads up. It wasn't easy. How did you come into contact with Jellyfish Inc. originally? Oh, that is a long story. Um, it's a documentary, that's kind of the point. Oh, well, it all started in fifth grade when, when we, uh, me and Chris met, met Ari one. He was a very shy kid back then. And he barely talked, very different from what he was now. Really? Huh. Never would have guessed. So then, what's it called? So, sorry, you getting noticed. He cre started creating, like, other groups. What's it called? He started creating comics and stuff, which I'm, I used to do in fourth grade, but I stopped. Ah. And he always named them, uh, uh, he always called his channel Jellyfish Inc. I think I was at Miss Randolph's room for flex. And all of a sudden, I think Arimon invited me because I was talking about Minecraft. I'm not sure. Ah, uh, I see. Don't even remember, to be honest. I, I see. Uh, Minecraft was how a lot of us got into it. I think, I don't know how much depth about why he called that. I think it's because he was going to drop a drawing derpy jellyfish. Um, from my perspective, it was supposed to be like a pun, like jellyfish exude ink or something. I, I always thought that was octopi. Yeah, I know that. I don't know why he chose, like, jellyfish, though. That's what I mean. I mean, he can draw a pretty good jellyfish. Yeah, I know. That might be a reason, but... Anyways, it all started there. That was the OG jellyfish. It was me, Krish Gupta, and Ari1. Ah. And soon that group started expanding to Akum G. And then in, uh, to Akum G, then Nikhil. And slowly and slowly, it started getting bigger and bigger. The story started when... At around 7th grade, uh, there's many Google Classrooms that started to form just for students to chat with each other. And at that point, we did not use anything like Discord. So we just used, started, um, created a Google Classroom that we can chat on and just pretty much have fun with. So, and then, Iron Man is the one who uh, created the Google Classroom, which means he named it Jellyfish Inc. And then, all of our friends joined in and around the end of 2018 then the beginning of 2019 we learned that there's a uh, something called the discord server which we took advantage of because well i mean it's it's just so much better than google classroom what were your opinions on pan before the recent happenings uh the recent few days argument what were your thoughts on him before that I thought he was I thought he was really cool. I liked his ability to draw. I mean, it was nice that someone else was drawing and good at it. I'm not saying anyone else is bad, I'm just saying not a lot of people like drawing as much as I do. So that was cool. And also, we played Minecraft a few times, and I thought he was really nice. I also thought that he was probably one of the saner ones. So. He is. <laughs> kind um. of. And then after we started Discord and we added um, a lot of most of the active um, people online at that time, but then the server is not called Jellyfish Inc. Yeah, the server is just pretty much for us to use to pretty play video games and all that kind of stuff. But then later on, not not too not too long after the server is made, 
that we decided to rename it to Jellyfish Inc. too. At that time, Jellyfish Inc. is not much of a thing yet. It's it's pretty much just a name that we think sounds good and also is pretty unique. But then later on in 2019, uh, last year, uh, a lot of people started taking jellyfishing more seriously, as you guys see, um, for server buys. Then there was a time when, before we made jellyfishing, there was another group called Moose Club. It's gone now, but it, it was like, it was the incentivizer to create, to officially create jellyfish as, when it, it was the, it was like, a, it was basically the first thing we had as a group chat. But it was a Google Classroom and on our, on our school account, so... Uh, no, what's it called? After Moose Club, when it died, Aryaman also created his own Google Classroom called the Jellyfishing. Ah, after his, uh, comic operation. This is the- I think that's where he got the name. And also, this is, this is something that probably no one knows about. Um, at around the end of 2018, or somewhere between 2018 and 2019, uh, Armon and I decided to make like a storyline, uh, like a story thing for for the Jellyfish Inc. That if you want to, get, if you want to get a look at that, yeah, I can share it with you later. But um, that kind of just that kind of just um started the whole thing where we want to have a storyline, which is which is kind of which is probably um you want to know about later on. But um, we just created a storyline, and it fits really well because we already kind of have some sort of storylines before. Hand created the chat called Discord, uh, called Minecraft, PUBG, and Brawl Stars. And back then it was a very small group. And it was, just, it's like, you think of us now, it was like the human in the fear. So Very different, very new. Like, we, did, we had no rules, there were seven people at most. I think I have a screenshot to remember those days on my computer. Pan created Jellyfish Inc. 2, the Discord server. That still lasts. Sort of. It used to, it, it, after Minecraft PUBG browser started improving, we, they com he completely reformed the server into what is now Jellyfish Inc. 2. And that is the present day. And now we are reforming to Jellyfish Inc. 3. I, we are trying, I'm trying to, yeah. Yes. Okay, that was a lot, wasn't it? Let's recap. Jellyfish Inc. started as a 6th grade comic operation ran by Armin, among some others. At the same time, a small Google Classroom existed called Moose Club. When Armin joined Moose Club, it was losing its steam and dying out. Armin, thusly, decided to make a new Google Classroom called Jellyfish Inc., named after his comic operation. This revitalized the idea and nigh all the Moose Club members jumped ship to Armin. As well as this, new people joined. Then, Pan, who was part of this Google Classroom, discovered Discord. He wanted to use it so that he and his own close personal friends could play video games together. It was named Minecraft, PUBG, and Brawl Stars, and it only had like six or seven people. But over time, more people were added to that one, many from the Google Classroom. These new people used the Discord server in a similar way to Jellyfish 1 back in Google Classroom, except they found it much more useful. Eventually, the Discord server was deduced to be the reasonable successor to Jellyfish on Google Classroom, and it was named Jellyfish Inc. 2 as such. And now, thanks to a few arguments, a third one is on the horizon. How? how I mean, no judgment by this. This. Um, a lot of people have been talking that you have too much power in the server. Again, I do not I am, this is not what this interview is about, but I question, how, how was your, I guess I'm going to call it a rise to power or whatever, but how did you get your such high status of admin? Okay, so, at the beginning, because I created it, so I'm kind of already at a spot of um, being like such of a, air quote, high powered, uh, as you say, but and then after that, it's just... I feel like now there's so many people on a server, if as you already know. There has to and be so many some sort of there has to be some sort of moderator to keep them them in check. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know story. if you know this or not, but like my personality kind of just kind of like just um, always wants to be the one who's um, leading. What was the re so? Would you say that you've undergone a recent um, change in opinion on Pan as a person? Oh yeah, I mean. 
at the beginning, I didn't know him too well, and I only talked to him over Discord. When I met him for the first time, he was also pretty chill. But I think it started because I got some Copics. I asked if he wanted them, and he said he did, but then he said he got his own. A lot of arguments started to spring out very, very quickly. So I think my opinion has been the same for quite a while, but... I've heard from uh, someone else that there was some sort of argument that was had. I, I distinctly remember there being a lot of messages sent. I was busy playing Minecraft at the time. Um, yeah, is, the, is, there any, is there any, like, real inciting incident that you think uh, caused... I feel like that incident there is also has to deal with it. What is Because I, what to call it, I know that part of his reasons were true, but uh, there were times when I could ju we had to create a new server just so he couldn't kick me out or something. Ah, and why was he trying to kick you out? Because, uh, I, that, I don't know. Hmm. Like, when we were and arguing, like, general, there were times I just got muted, there were times, and I, other times I just got kicked, and other times he just removed my roles. If, if I recall correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, um, s there was an argument between, uh, which involved, among others, you and Pan, um, to which afterward you seemed much more interested in joining the uh, joining Akum's little rebellion, whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, I've had enough. He's really narcissistic, and I don't think it's fair to everybody else who's in this server that he keeps holding it over everybody's head that it's his server. He has a generally childish way of dealing with things, which I really don't appreciate. In addition to this, he. He argues with people about them being rude, but when he's rude, he can't seem to understand that other people perceive him as ruder than he perceives us a lot of the time. So, I, like, I don't think that, like, anyone should be able to just mute somebody or just ban somebody just because they feel only they feel and not consulted with every other ad. Oh, of course, yes. Um, your reasons are understandable. That's one of the reasons I'm getting rid of the PUBG role. Ah, yes. After this rift formed in the friend group, some people like Akum decided that a new server was in order. So, Jellyfish Inc. Planet 3 was created, and people started being invited to it. People who were notable rivals of Pan. Pan was unaware of this. Well, I noticed that was, uh, there are times when he uses his power a lot. And in, out of all the people, I might be the only one, but I'm not sure if he should be the one with the most power. There's nothing wrong with him, but it's just that it, it, it's just that nobody should have that much power. So that's why I'm thinking with this new server, we can completely eliminate the PUBG role. PUBG being the highest role, available yeah. role, correct? Yeah. Huh. No one should have that much power. Another thing. Uh, it, here's an important question. How did you come into contact with the Rebellion? I'm calling it the Rebellion is like sort of a thing. How did you get into contact with it in the first place? I don't know. I just popped up in the server. I think somebody invited me. I think oh. it was probably Akum because he knows that I don't really like that much. But I'm not sure who invited me. Not sure how I got there. Just found another server I can invite and they accepted it. Um, as you know, uh, I moved here in 2017. And... I in China school system through through first grade to sixth grade you have with this like this one class of twenty or thirty people you hang out with them every single day at school for six years so the bonds is like really 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 good but then um at the end of the everything at the, the sixth grade at the end of the sixth grade everything pretty much just fell apart I mean people. People still um, go go hang out with each other as friends, but not as a group anymore. So, especially for us, we don't we, we didn't even hang out as much. And probably at the um, end of our high school years, is there's going to be six years. But then, you know, we I I do not think that we are going to be have as much bond as we had in in China. But then, you know. That didn't work out in China, so I'm not sure whether it will work out here too. 
So a new server had been created, a rebellion started, to even out the power dynamic from a system that people thought was too subjugating. Now, how was this, this rebellion going to go about? There needed to be some sort of plan. Luckily, the de facto leader, Akam, had a plan. A secret plan, he called it. He'd constantly tell people that he had one. But he never told anyone what it was. Everyone was curious. Are you... How do you feel about Akam's quickly incoming plan? Um, I am not 100% on board. I appreciate that they've made a new server, but I do think this is just going to end up hurting a lot of people in the end and definitely going to change a lot of things. So... I think it's nice that Akam has his own server where people can do what they want. While I do think a certain amount of rule structure is necessary and the admins, having a few people as admin were nice so that not everybody went and did whatever they wanted. Because you know who Ariman gets sometimes and you know how other people get sometimes. So it was nice that there were a few people in control, but at one point he got too out of control in his own server. It's, so. it's the argument between freedom and safety. Um, yeah, but nobody's really not safe. It's more that he needs to learn a lesson. Which is why I keep trying to talk to him, but he keeps denying me, so... I'm just uh, gonna wait for that. Never mind. Yeah, and, and then after the thing with Maitri happened, I realized that there's nothing we can do to change it. It has to be done. So that's when I started... That's when the effort, like, started to become... That's when we started focusing on really making the server a better place. You like, you see, you see all the improvements we've had, right? Um, not offhand, but I'm willing to believe there are. I mean, like, how, like, the voting just seems to be working. Um, uh, what's it called? Nobody has had a complaint when, and, and nobody's had the complaint the entire time. Everybody seems to be enjoying. Final question. Okay. How long do you think Jellyfish Inc. to the server is going to stand? That's actually a really, really good question because, like, it's definitely going to stand. Um, probably 99% uh, it's going to stand uh, from from 2019, which we started created it, to probably what's 2020, 20, and then it's probably 2024, the end of 2024, because that's when you know the high school of our high school years is going to be ending, and of course. Maybe we we will probably keep contact. Uh, it depends on whether we uh, like what we choose to do in the future. So That's pretty far away. Four gonna, years. You think jellyfishing two is gonna last until roughly twenty twenty three four ish? Uh, yeah, I think twenty nine percent at least is going to last until twenty twenty four. But again, um, I it's it's just my opinion and based on what I learned before. So everything was going just about as normal as it really could have. The secret was still intact. Some people were beginning to have second thoughts about the true morality of this situation, but that was being swept under the rug to continue going. Until eventually, someone spilled it. It was a complicated situation, and no one really knows who spilled it or why. But it happened. All right, tell me everything. One, how did the peace proceedings of yesterday go? You and some others got into a call with Pan. How did that go? How did he find out about, J about JF3? And how did that eventually spiral into him figuring out about the server today? All right, so I think what did go? Oh, so yesterday I thought the peace proceedings went pretty well. We felt that we had changed him, but um, I, I always had my small doubts. So then, what's it called? Then when we went to uh, with today, I don't know who did it. Um, I think I know who, but I don't want to reveal their name for like, like just to keep it doesn't matter. One person spilled it, uh, and they even knew about the server. And then basically from there, started getting even more mad. And, and my tree was uh, my tree also knew and once like. We need to, um, we need to calm him down. So then, this is what happened today. We all went to a VC call, and what's it called? We were also like, what's it called? Trying to reason with him that we should move to the new server since like there's no point in keeping it a secret anymore. Ah, uh, yeah. 
With the secret being gone, and now us in Endgame, I figured now was as good a time as any to ask about his supposed secret plan. What was your secret plan this whole time? Anyway. To be honest, I never really had one. Oh. You were just lying? Oh, I know. I, my, I knew what the general base of my plan was. I always knew what it was. I wanted it to be... Uh, I wanted everyone to figure out a way to get it. Once everyone was on the server, I was gonna do... The plan was going... I had some ideas for the plan, but I didn't know if they would work very well. Technically, I did have a plan. So the secret was spilled. Obviously, Pan was very angry over this, as any reasonable person would be. And everyone was beginning to wonder why this conflict continued to go on. But, meanwhile, Akim and some of his crew had figured out a method to get to actively ban everyone from Jellyfish 2, so they'd have no choice but to come to the replacement. The way he did this was unknown to me at the time, but I managed to catch it on the board. All right, who are you gonna kick next? Who are you kicking next? Who are you kicking next? Whoa, this is crazy. Tell me the full story of what you believe happened ever since Pan found out about uh, Jellyfish Inc. Three. How did he find out, and what and what was the course of events that happened afterward? Well, so once that happened, uh. He just kind of got pissed. I saw the uh, screenshots. They were trying to reason. Then he started screaming. And then just, uh, well, now it's more or less just people like. They're like, they're both trying to prove their point at the same time. But they're not exactly like. They're both speaking, but no one's listening. So what's happening now? Do you, who do you think will prevail in all this? Akim or Pan? Uh. Well, I mean, right now, um, I mean, I'm kind of against both of them right now. Hey. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the new one's going to be used, but just overall it's going to result in a lot of conflict and stuff. This is a fight that's going to leave a permanent mark on on friendships. Um, yeah. And he seemed to come, we tried to propose to him to move to the server. But in I this might I know like he is gonna disagree with this, and but I know like both Maitri and Rohit agree. He was technically saying he wants to keep his owner of the server, which I still don't get. Hmm. Because like it should this is a Discord server. He shouldn't have power. He shouldn't have the power to ban or kick anyone because they have a grudge, or, and, and they can't just come back whenever they want. It's just everyone screaming, and then there's my tree, me, and Kevin trying to peace keep. And I'm just waving a camera in people's faces. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty fun. Who actually went and deleted a bunch of people from Jellyfish 2? And why are people now coming? Back? Oh, it's Akem's alt. Oh. I didn't know who it was, but then, like, everyone's like, no, that's him. How did Akem's alt do it? Uh, he ran a script. Did he have? Did he have the admin ability? Um, I mean, the script you don't exactly need that for it. Oh my! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's evil. Why is everyone joining back now? Uh, because everyone agreed that that was not good for him to do and stuff. So, so people are beginning to realize that both sides of this war are corrupt. Yeah. What's gonna happen when... I mean, we know the, the road this is going towards. It's just gonna be Pan and Akum fighting and everyone else trying not to fight. That's okay, yeah, going. I mean, that that's what's going on right now, though. There's been two rebellions. I did, that should show that we really need to have some changes. There were two rebellions yeah. before this? Uh, th this was when, like, in the very beginning of the server. Oh. If, if it's just a fight between Akim and Pan, can't we all just stop? It's, well, I mean, they're kind of dragging us in. It's like if you saw two people fighting on a the street, then someone would try and help and then eventually get involved with it. Was there any way we could have stopped this? And by we, I mean, like, the server, not like we as people. 
I mean, probably not. This was coming from quite some time. Jellyfish 4. No. Okay, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I had gone insane at this point. I just kind of wanted the war to be over, and I was tired. Um, so I went and did something stupid and created another one. The point was to kind of, like, show how silly the whole war was. But what actually happened was people just ended up getting mad at me. But I'll let you see it for yourself. <laughs> Jellyfish Inc. 4. <laughs> <laughs> Let the games begin! I've been banned from both servers, 2 and 3. I have no clue how the war is going. But... I have 4. I have Jellyfish 4. Boy, howdy. I have this. There are two members. Me and this guy who I don't I, I don't I don't even I don't even know him. I've never met him in real life, but I guess he clicked the invite link. The owner gets um this role. Means you're unable to type messages. All you can do is edit nicknames and read. You better believe they can edit nicknames. There was probably a better way to solve this. Okay, so it's been a day. I have no clue how the war is going because they banned me from both servers for doing this stupid idea. I think I'm just going to apologize profusely and see what the situation looks like back there. Um, I've been hearing word that they're doing some sort of peace treaty. Uh, the, this dumb idea kind of got across to them. So in a way, it worked. The only, it's the only morally good person here. God damn it! Uh, this will like this will be our final interview. How do you feel after um today's discussions that you've had? Glad it's finally over. Um, tell me how the discussions went. Uh, who raised the idea, uh, what was said, and what agreement was came to? But what's called for mostly we were there. Um, I was the one who was like, maybe we should just like finish this once and for all. What was your second question? Um, so you initiated. Mm -hmm. Um, how did the discussion go? What was the general tone of it? It went well. I made, I, like, I made, I made us both promise, like, both me and him, wouldn't use any, like, negative or angry tone, just so, like, we, we wouldn't go as like, the other times. The main reason I made trying to make a new server is because I've known, like, like you've seen with, like, all those fights, every time, like, against him, someone either gets kicked or there's something like that. I made a promise that, like, now, whenever we are going, like, whenever there's a decision, everybody, like, he can't just kick it without anybody else asking, saying, yeah, we should. Hmm. That was, like, the biggest thing I wanted to address. Hello, right. Pan. Um, so the war is over, you say. Or it has been said the that pan, the war is also, over. Also, I would like you to not call it the war. Uh, what would you prefer it be called? Just, just don't, don't talk about it in general. That would be great. This is an interview about it. Well, yeah. Um, do you have to do the interview? Um, I suppose I don't. Because, like, I just, um, I don't feel like that's a good idea. Yeah. All right, if you do not want to be interviewed, uh, that is fine, and the interview can cease. I asked Pan, and while I didn't get a formal interview out of him, um, he did say that both that you seemed a lot more amicable than usual, and you seem to be saying the same. 
Uh, is it possible that the long gap of communication on this current issue has made you both much more, has made your relationship much nicer uh, and you're more willing to discuss? I think the biggest thing that like made us so we could agree a lot more is that we, we both agreed that there would be no angry, nothing negative, no name calling, none of that. Uh, so we could focus directly on the subject at hand. I see. Without, yeah. like, like all the other times we've done it, or like even in text, there's always been lots of like name calling, like it, like lots of angry tone, and like that was I feel like the main reason we could, there were multiple VCs and this war was elongated. Hmm. Um. So. If we just got rid of all the angry tone, then everything was, then, then we could have a civil discussion. What server are we using now? So, I think we're going to stay on Planet 2, but, like, I don't want to delete Planet 3 just yet. Like, I know, like, it, it might as, it's, 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 there's no harm in just having a backup, you know what I mean? So, if something like this happens again, yes. it will still, it will always be there. Yeah. Alright, um, one last question. Are, are you happy with how this conflict turned out? Is this the solution yeah. that you would have wanted from the start? Yeah, the biggest, the big issue I had was, was resolved. When discussing this conflict, I feel there are two important things to mention. One, this is a Discord server. And two, we are children. Discord is a place where a caste system is inherently going to be made. It isn't have to be one, but I defy you to find a server that doesn't. As well as this, all messages are sent through text, wherein no emotion can be brought across and the intent can get very easily muddied in the wording. And children are inherently stupid. All of us. It's not our fault, it's just that our brains aren't fully developed yet. That being said, these two things together are a bit of a storm for disaster. Us, as stupid children, will end up fighting for control over the server, nigh by design. We all want to be upper crust, and our childishness and poor message delivery system will only stoke the flames. Fights are destined to occur, therefore I can't really blame anyone for this conflict starting. While Aiken may have had a few more morally right views, he took it too far because of the site's very design. And on the other side of things, somebody had to be upper crust. There had to be one, and it's not Pan's fault that it ended up being him. Not to say he acted perfect in every situation, of course, there were slip-ups on both sides. Therefore, the only message to take away is that we need to be more careful and avoid this from happening again. Because if we aren't careful, it certainly will. Of course, if you need to blame someone, you could blame me. I mean, I did kind of poke two factions that were irritated at one another with a microphone and camera. And egg them on to fight each other for only the sake of a 35 minute long boring mess of a movie. A movie that you just watched, in fact. I apologize. But also, not really, y'all got pr- I don't even make any sense, am I? No, no, no. It, it makes just about as much sense as the other interviews did. Um... Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I'll let you watch the documentary when it comes out. <laughs> My one question is very simple. What, uh, the fuck? Yes. Okay, um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna break some, uh, documentarian rules. Uh, it was me, it was totally me. Um, uh, but that's okay, the point. <laughs> um, <laughs> Why'd you ask? I mean, I wanted, I, I don't know. I, so, someone so, spilled it. There's a traitor? You're not too well. There's a traitor in our mix. Oh, I think it was on I think it was on accident. Ah. Just say that there's a traitor for the video. I'll put it in the trailer. Um, are there any other questions that we should ask? Because if so, we should get around to asking them pretty quickly. Because I'm almost. I don't out know. Of you're this. the documentary person. <laughs> Sorry. Writer? Um, director? Yeah, director. Documentarian. Oh, uh, okay. Feel professional. What should I do? Do what I'm doing. Anytime some people start arguing, spam cat gifs. No, it seems I to work. Not, I will not do that. That it does not seem to work. It just For example, work. in the new server, go into the general. I think that was a coincidence.